UK billionaire and founder of Phones for You, John Codwell, was one of the Conservative Party's most prominent donors. But he's now extremely critical of the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's U turn on green policies. While well, Codwell has been lobbying the government for the past three and a half years to try and create an environmental tech enterprise zone in the UK. He joins us now. So, John Codwell, welcome to Bloomberg. First of all, Mr. Codwell, why do you think the Prime Minister did that U turn on some of the climate policies? I think the uh, UK population were a bit misinformed about what net zero means and what 2030 meant in terms of uh, internal combustion engines. And instead of uh, selling the positives and uh, any negatives that there might be for people, explaining those negatives and explaining how the government would subsidise those negatives to turn the whole thing into a virtuous circle, I think he went for the easy votes. And it was a popular decision to reverse from 2030 to 2035, but it was completely the wrong decision. It is nothing more important for the world than the environment. And for Britain, there's nothing yeah. more important than growing our GDP. And we could have done both of those things at the same time. Do you think, because of the decision, this decision, international investments or international investors will less likely invest in the UK? Well, I think, I think that's going to be a, a certain tendency because what any investor wants is consistency. They want a government that sets the parameters yeah. in, the, in the economy and sticks to them and doesn't chop and change. And the chopping and changing is always detrimental to businesses. So, yes, on that score, yes. But I wanted them to go a lot further than that. I wanted a real big investment in the UK from outside investors. And it wouldn't cost anything at all to create a enterprise zone that's tax free for inward investment to come in that are government approved in terms of their scientific technology on an environmental platform. And in that way, we could have grown our GDP enormously over the next 10 to 20 yeah. years, grown Britain and helped to save the planet at the same time. John, do you think actually investment will leave the UK because of the government's green agenda or non green uh, agenda? I don't think it'll leave the UK particularly, no, because I think it would require something more radical than that. But we're already a high tax regime. We're not investing enough in the future of Britain. And it, it doesn't look very smart for the future of Britain. And so it certainly won't be doing a lot to attract, other than the fact, and I would make this statement very strongly, that I think Great Britain is a very, very attractive country for people to come to live through in from many perspectives. But we need to be better. We can't be complacent. We need yeah. to be better. And we've seen ourselves, our economy in the doldrums pretty much uh, for the whole of, of this century, for 20 years. So we really need to get our fingers out and be proactive in investing in future. Yeah. Are you frustrated with the, the state of the Tories right now? You have been a big donor. Will you continue to do so? Well, I, I am very frustrated, yes, because there's so much, so many ideas that are put forward to government, so much that I believe we can do. and. From my perspective, as a businessman, they're just no-brainer ideas that, that you don't even have to think about. You just have to think about how do you implicate, how do, how do you implement them, and how do you make yeah. maximize the benefit from them. And so, yes, I am extremely frustrated. Um, there, at the moment, I find myself in a bit of an apolitical space because I believe in Great Britain. I believe in investing in Great Britain. I believe in making Great Britain really, truly successful in the future, narrowing the poor rich divide and, and doing all the things that gives the average working person a better standard of living. But it can only come from GDP growth. So yeah. you have to do that. So would I, I'm not a supporter of anybody at the moment. I'm a uh, I, I'm, I'm almost ashamed to say I'm a floating voter because I've always been crystal clear uh, about who I was going to vote for over the last 50 years. But so, John, does it mean, and we've heard it from a lot of chief executives actually, that they have been wooed or at least impressed by Labour. Could Labour also impress you with some of the, the pro-business chatter that they've been talking about? 
Yeah, I, I think I, I think the um, Labour's rhetoric is is very good. It's very pro business. It's very pro the environment and ticks a lot of boxes. And Keir makes it clear that he wants to listen to business people and their ideas. But, you know, there's a big difference between electioneering and implementation. So whilst it does uh, interest me, and I don't rule Labour out at all, uh, at the same time, I am apolitical at the moment. I just I have my yeah. crystal clear but views and no, no party, I don't feel any party properly yeah. represents my views. But so if you're apolitical at the moment, would, would you rule out possibly being a Labour donor if, if they prove, you know, to, to be worthy for business? I think, Francine, it's the same answer, you know, that I will support any party that I believe is investing in the right methodologies in Great Britain, not just throwing money at the yeah. voters, but investing in Great Britain in our future to make Britain great again, to give us a better GDP growth so that that helps everybody from the poorest members of society right through to the businesses. Yeah. John, a real great pleasure to, to speak to you today.